Hey, welcome back. I'm Dave Guerra, and uh, we're going to do something special today. What we're going to do is we're going to make a drink. We're going to make George Washington's favorite drink. Let's get started. All right, again, welcome back. What are we doing? We're going to make some cherry bounce, cherry bounce. And this apparently, uh, this recipe was found in Martha Washington, President Washington's wife, among her recipes. And apparently there's a notation there in that recipe. It's George's favorite or one of George's favorite. Uh, again, cherry bounce. And what do you do? You take some cherries, mix up some whiskey, let it sit for a couple of weeks, drink away. Yeah, it's real simple. So we got to... The recipe I'm sharing down below, or the link I'm sharing down below, is for a full, uh, the full recipe. It's asking for 10 to 11 pounds of cherries. I know, right? That, that's a lot of cherries. That's a lot. But it's going to make a gallon. But we're going to cut that in half. We're going to cut that in half. So what does that mean? We're going to do about five pounds of, uh, of cherries. And I've already taken the little stem off of them. And now we're going to begin the process to uh, get them... Where as soon as I find it, oh, it's all the way over there. We're gonna pit them. We're gonna pit them. And um, so, you know what? Let's uh, let's get it going. I'll show you along the way. And then this video again, mind you, I started this video. The beginning of the video, or this right now, is gonna be. Well, the end is gonna be about two weeks later when we give it a taste test. So uh, give me a moment and uh, let's uh, let me let me get these things pitted. See how you so you can see how I'm doing it. All right. So it does call for us to pit the pit the cherries because what, what's going to happen is we're going to mash them. So here's here's what we do. I've got one of these little straws. I don't know if you can see it there. There it is. Am I here? Where am I? And I can't really see it. Can't see the other end. Can I see through the end? Ah, there we go. <laughs> I just ran some water through it, so it's like, hey, there it is. All right. So what what do we got? Well, see, this is all we're going to do. Get it, push it, and. Push it right through, and there goes the there goes the pit. And then we set the cherry. Five pounds. We got to do five pounds of these. So uh, as soon as we're done with that, I'm not going to make you sit through all five pounds of it. But as soon as we're done with that, I'll come back. The next segment will uh, show you what we're going to do with the uh, pitted cherries. What can you do with the pits? You can plant them. Depends on where you live. You can plant them. Good luck. See if it works. See if your soil works. Um, so again, but if you're up in the New England states or kind of the mid New England states, you're good to go. Or the mid Atlantic, sorry about that, northern mid Atlantic states. I, I lived in, in New Jersey for several years back in my younger days, and we had some cherry trees out uh, in the field at the end of at the end of this field, and we were forever climbing the tree to get those cherries because they were good. I mean, they were fresh right off the tree. Doesn't get any better than that. So again, we're making some cherry bounce. All right, let me get to pitting these things. All right, there they are. They're all pitted. That was that was a team effort for sure. So again, thank you to Mrs. This Vet Cooks. They're all pitted. And now we got to mash them. We got to mash them and extract several cups of cherry juice out of this. So on to the next step. All right, so we've got a, a low glass bowl. I didn't want to mash in a, a ceramic bowl, get it stained. No, uh, we're going to just mash them and basically you got to mash them until all the juice gets out of them. You can kind of already start to hear it. And you can see it. Make sure you get them all, though. All right, so after we're done mashing it, then we're going to go ahead and pour it here, strain the juice out, and ultimately we wanna get about four cups of juice out of all of these cherries. So let me get back to work. Got a lot to do. We'll be mashing here in just a bit, or continuing to mash. That's kind of what it looks like when it's mashed up. I mean, again, we're gonna pour it out into a sieve and then into the a bowl to collect all the juice, and then we're gonna save what was mashed, and we're gonna remash it to see if we can get everything else out. Now, ultimately, this juice is gonna join up with this brandy, this uh, this is what we picked up. We picked up this St. Remy VSOP. Um, again, we're making half of it. So this is just a, um, what, 750 milliliter, about 25 ounces, give or take. And uh, that's what we're going to use. So this should be interesting. And we'll crack this open a little bit just to give it a tasty taste. Alrighty. You know we got to. We have to. All right, there it is. 
that's the juice four cups of cherry juice there's our container and there's our brandy all right so we're going to do the four cups they're going to go in here and then two cups of the brandy is going to go in there as well then we're going to add a cup and a half of sugar we're going to stir it until the sugar mixes and then we're going to put it in the fridge for 24 hours yeah this is not a one day event it's going to take a little while so as i mentioned at the top what you see to, what you see at the beginning is going to be different than at the end why because well time has already gone by about two weeks and of course longer so for now let me uh let me set this up let me set the camera up so you could see what i'm about to do four cups of cherry juice oh we've got to be careful There we go. Wipe down this stuff will. Yeah, look at that. It goes fast. So be careful. Four cups of cherry juice. And here's the cup and a half of sugar. We'll get that poured in here. That's gonna be sweet. Look at that. Just slow these things in there, but guess what? We gotta stir it. I give it the little stirry stir until it all mixes up. All right, so come back in a second. All right, now we're gonna look for two cups of the, uh, of the brandy here. There it is. And turn this around. There's our two cup mark right here. Hmm, smells good. Bring this back forward. And let's go ahead and pour the two cups of brandy. Get that last drop. Oh, that's delicious. All right, gonna. A little stirry stir okay now what we're going to do is going to go ahead and put it in the fridge we're going to seal it up in the fridge for 24 hours and we'll come back tomorrow afternoon where we continue making the cherry bounce until then here we go all right we've taken the uh the mixture of the cherry bounce out of the fridge let's go ahead and pop it open and i'm just gonna use a little butter knife to get a little stirry stir in here Mm, smells good. Not so violent, but again, you want to get the stuff off the top here, off the edge, because it will leave a little film there, but um, or a little. Ooh, tastes good. You know, it almost tastes like a Jack and Coke. To tell you the truth. All right, so now we're gonna take one cup of this. Again, we didn't make the full batch, so I'm cutting this in half, everything in half. Uh, I'm gonna take one cup. And we're gonna put this in here. We're gonna bring it to a simmer. Then uh, we're gonna drop in the clove and the nutmeg and the cinnamon, one cinnamon stick. Let that sit there, let the juices go through for about five minutes. And then we're gonna shut it down, let this cool. And then we're gonna roll this back in here. Alrighty, so let's, let me get this out of here and I gotta move the camera. So we've extracted a cup of the uh, cherry bouncer, a little bit over, hey, it's okay, it doesn't matter. Uh, cherry bounce from the, uh, or, the brandy cherry juice mixture. So we'll go ahead and drop that here in the in the pot here. There we go. Get that all in there. Now the ingredient, the directions do say to go ahead and give it a tasty taste to see if it needs uh, more sugar. It needs more brandy. No, it's great. It's perfect the way it is. 
All right, now we're gonna go ahead and turn this temperature up to a medium. Oh, that's the wrong one. And we're gonna go again to the wrong one. We're gonna do a medium heat. There we go, all right, medium heat. We just want a little simmer to happen here with this. And while we're doing that, all right, we're gonna get our, remember I cut the recipe in half, uh, nutmeg, whole nutmeg piece, cut that one in half, so in, in it goes. Alrighty. Um, it did ask for two whole cloves. I'm gonna go ahead and just drop in one. There we go. Put this one back. There we go. This smells nice. And the cinnamon stick, it asked for a a whole cinnamon stick. I went ahead and got a half and then I just broke that up. Alright, that's it. Alright, now we're just gonna cover it, let it uh let it do its magic, a little simmer thing, get all the juices going. We'll do a little stirry stir in there, and then we'll uh we'll turn it off, let it cool. All right, we'll be right back. All righty, time's come. Yeah, see, it's, it's more than a little simmer, so I gotta get that under control. But there it is, it's all simmering. Go ahead and turn this off, turn off the heat. And there it is, we'll give it a little stirry stir so you can see what that looks like. There we go. And uh, the aromatics have really kicked in. As you can see there, there it is, you see the color. Now we're gonna just take it off the heat. We're gonna cover it up and we're gonna let it come to cool down to uh, room temperature, then we're gonna put a sieve and take out the, uh, the spices and we'll re slowly return the uh, the, the uh, brandy and cherry juice mixture back to the uh, to the to the bottle to the jar to the glass container here we go all right uh, about about 40 minutes has expired and we're gonna go ahead and pour this. I mean, it's not room temperature yet, but what we're gonna do is uh, pour all of this, use the sieve here to, uh, use it the right way, to uh, hold back the uh, spices. That way they don't pass through. There's the nutmeg, there's the cinnamon, there's a clove, more cinnamon. There we go, we'll let that sit. And while that's draining out, Kind of odd that that's not moving faster. Anyway, hey, I want to bring you up to date on the uh, rum um, vanilla extract. Remember that? Here it is. Here it is. Yeah, you can see it's got some, it's dark. Um, looks great. Uh, yeah, you can see down below. I can't move the light. Uh, but basically what I wanted to show you, it's getting really hard to see through it. Yes, you can see it right here at the, the bottom. You know, it is a little light, but no, for the most part, it's quite dark and uh, can't wait to use it here this uh, this coming um, holiday season. So we'll get this and uh, we're going to let this sit out here for another another 20 minutes to let it cool down now because it's it's still a little warm, warm to the touch. All right, there's, there's the nutmeg and there's the cinnamon and the clove is in there somewhere. There it is. All right, we'll let this sit, we'll let this cool down and uh, we'll get back to it in just a bit. All right, the time has come. There it is. Again, we took this out of the fridge, pop this open. There is our um, spiced brandy cherry juice. Just gonna roll this back in here, nice and neat. That's all there is to it. All right. Now we're gonna give it another little stirry stir. It's not the one I want. Oh, and it's a full, and it's a full silicone. I can't seem to find a full silicone one. All righty, one second. All righty, just using a nice Butter knife, and we'll get a little and stir it and incorporate it in there. Alrighty, let's give it a little tasty taste. A spoon from earlier. There we go. Oh, 
Oh, another, f it just changes. The profile is constantly changing. That's even better. Told you from earlier, from yesterday. It's just going to get better and better. Alrighty. So uh, that's it. We're going to go ahead and seal this up. Now the instructions did say if, I guess if we were using a mason jar or some type of screw on top to loosely put it up there, but, and we're not. I'm going to go ahead and just, well, maybe I could do this and put it in some spot of the fridge where uh, we're we'll going to lock it down. We'll figure it out later. Anyway, but for now, there it is. Two weeks from now, we'll go ahead and break this open, give it a little tasty taste, and then that's when you're going to be seeing the video for this. So remember, this is uh, two weeks ago as you're watching the video, at least two weeks ago. Alrighty. So there it is. Cherry Bounce, it's making. We added the spices today. It's all rolled in here now. We'll see you in a couple of weeks. All right, there it is. That's it. We made it. We did it. It is. It's in here in the container. That's it. That's the cherry bounce. Again, some cherries, fresh cherries, pitted, sliced in half, mashed, mold, and then uh, thrown in, mixed in with some brandy for about two weeks. And then we added some spices on the back end of that. And man, so here we go. Cheers, saludos, prost, bottoms up. Give it a shot again. This is uh, George Washington's favorite. We're about to find out why. Oh man, yeah, that's outstanding, folks. I'm gonna get me now. I know why George Washington kept some of this in a canteen. Had a canteen full of this and carried it with him wherever he went. Again, cherry bounce. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna be making some more. And again, don't forget, May, June, and July is prime cherry time. So they'll be in your grocery store, get them, and it's going to put in some work. You saw that. We're going to do a little work to get there, but it's the results a couple of weeks later, if you can hold off. Very smooth, very tasty, uh, outstanding. I'm going to have another one here in just a moment. Um, delicious. It's been sitting there in the fridge, all just doing its thing, and, and it's it's awesome. Folks, I'm Dave Guerra. This is Cherry Bounce. I'm going to have some more, and uh, this vet cooks.